As we continued our walk in the prayer group, I was experiencing a call to the permanent diaconate. After a time of prayer, I asked the pastor if he would sponsor me to enter into formation for the Archdiocese of Chicago. He agreed and my application was submitted. We were called in, we were called in separately, I was called in and Ann was called in separately, and we were interviewed. It didn't take long after the interview for a rejection letter to come back to my pastor. And he had to call me and tell me that we were rejected. And I couldn't understand why. I thought for sure that that was part of God's plan for, for us to go into the diaconate program. So he did not give a reason, and my wife and I were disappointed and perplexed, as we thought that would be in God's plan for me. I rationalized that this was a temporary setback, and life goes on. I continued being an active member of St. Teresa's Charismatic Prayer Group, attended annual conferences sponsored by the Catholic Charismatic Renewal for Chicago, acronym CCRCC. I use that on the rest of the talk, not the whole term. If I had been accepted into formation for the permanent diaconate, three years later I would have been ordained. As it turned out, that day, the CCRCC was having elections for new members to serve on the board, on the service team. I was one of the candidates, so I had to attend the meeting with thoughts of diaconate ordination happening at Holy Name Cathedral. I was really stressed that day. I was elected with two others to serve on the board. I came to realize that this was happening according to God's plan, not mine. I served just short of 20 years in that position, and during that time I kept discerning a reapplication to the diaconate. I shared my call with the liaison to Cardinal Bernardine for CCRC, and we began to pray together and to seek the Lord and his decision. During this discernment process, I had the opportunity to be at a house meeting with Cardinal Bernardine with the service team, CCRC's service team. He was very, was very uh, much connected to the renewal. He, he thought that it was great for the church, and he supported us in every way he could. So this one, one time he came to this house in Oak Park, one of our members, and we had dinner. One of our members was from northern Italy, where Cardinal Bernardine's family comes from, and and she made some dishes that, that he really enjoyed and kind of brought him, brought him home. Plus a couple of bottles of wine, and it was a very good evening. Now when he was dropped off, uh, Father Vilo was his uh, driver, and um, he had someplace else to go, so he just dropped the cardinal off and left. So it came time for him to go home, and he says, how am I going to get home? <laughs> My driver's not here. So I volunteered to take him home, which was a wonderful hour from Oak Park to the mansion in Chicago. Uh, we shared openly with each other, and I asked the Cardinal to pray for me, and my desire to serve God, his people, and his church. He said he would pray that I receive a clear message from the Lord and be at peace, whatever the answer was. So he's preparing me for another rejection, maybe, or preparing me for acceptance, and whatever it is, the Lord's plan, and we have to You'll be satisfied with that. When it was discerned that I should apply again to the permanent diaconate, it was suggested that Charismatic Renewal, the liaison, would sponsor me. That I was never done in Chicago before. Usually a, a parish would sponsor the person for the diaconate. So the liaison went to the Cardinal, Cardinal Bernardine, and asked him if he could sponsor me as a deacon for the Charismatic Renewal in Chicago. And Cardinal Bernardine gave him permission to do that. So I was sponsored by Charismatic Renewal. And I went down for an interview again. And shortly after, I got my acceptance letter. I started formation in September of 1992. I continued to serve on the CCRCC board while attending two nights a week, some Saturdays at St. Mary of the Lake Seminary in Mundelein for two years and two years at Trinity High School in Oak Park. And at that time, the wives had to go with their husbands to these classes. So Ann and I both off we went to these classes. They've changed that a little bit since. But um, 
The wives were very important to support their husbands through this process. At any time, if the wife said that she was not going to support her husband anymore in, in the formation, uh, they would just pull the plug on, on the deacon or the proposed deacon. Because if you're not going to get you know, acceptance from your wife and help in, in ministry afterwards, they didn't want to cause any marriage problems. They weren't trying to you know, cause marriage breakups. They were trying to strengthen us by, by working together. So we have worked together uh, for all these years, and, and it's been a blessing. I was ordained by Joseph Cardinal Bernardine on April 28th, 1996, which this Friday will be my 21st anniversary. That was his last ordination in, in that April because he died November of that year of the cancer that he had.